Hello there Jet Ski fans and welcome to another video. I'm still hanging out with the Jet Ski Brothers and in this one we are going to be working on, testing and riding their mini aluminum jet boat. This thing is absolutely bonkers and currently has a Yamaha 1200R power valve engine in it. This engine comes from the factory with 150 horsepower but that wasn't good enough for the Jet Ski Brothers. They threw on a set of triple pipes from a snowmobile and it is now likely producing about 180 horsepower. Be sure to go check out the Jet Ski Brothers for a different perspective on this same event. They will be releasing a video about the mini aluminum jet boat as well. And if you want to see some behind the scenes footage, some extras and a little bit less editing, less music and uh, a little bit more relaxed style, be sure to go check out my secondary channel which is called Lowered Expectations. A link will be below for all of these things that I mentioned. This video is going to be long enough. Let's get into it. Probably the most requested machine that you guys wanted to see was the mini jet boat. I've done a bunch of work on the exhaust system, basically trying to strengthen it and make sure that it uh, doesn't crack or try to stop it from cracking. Only the best. High quality sheet metal. Not even, barely been used. It's been tested. It's been, yeah, it's been proven. We've got all the mounts in place and now we just need to do some patchwork. As you guys can see, we've got a motor mount here with this bracket on this pipe and then this bracket bolts onto that bracket. So these two are supported by this one motor mount back here. And then we've got another motor mount that's strapped to this pipe. That's going to put a little extra load on this pipe and I see I actually have to finish welding that up so that's good that I saw that. And yeah, so this bracket still needs to be trimmed, I just finished welding it. And then after that we just need to do some patchwork. Uh, all three pipes have a, a little bit of a hole in them from the bracket that was on there before. Uh, Josh already made some patches, which are right here I believe. So we got some patches there. We're going to weld those holes up. We're going to patch those holes up and then we'll be good to go. Jacob's over here getting ready to work on a project, a very secret project that you guys will have to go over and check out the Jet Ski Brothers for. It has to do with an intake manifold that is normally... One of a kind. Nobody else on the internet has done this. But we are just finishing up the exhaust on this. Still needs a couple pieces put back in. Josh did all the fabrication work and I threw a little coat of paint no, on no, there. No, 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 no. Joel did all the fab work. We still need uh, the, the bead roller. We've got the bead roller in the uh, secondary shop, so that's why this doesn't have a, a bead rolled on the edge of it, just to finish that off. So, anyway, it looks like we're actually going to get this thing out on the water today and test it out. So, that should be very exciting. too much gas in there. Very likely there's something going on in the curve that's causing it to just drop a whole bunch of fuel in there. Right. Well, arm coming apart then. I think we have something that can go out to the water now, eh? I would say that fixed part of the problem. I know a lot of you have been waiting for this. At least one of you, Vin Vin. This is my first ride in the mini aluminum jet boat. Josh has already had it out and warmed it up. Nothing fell off it that we can tell so far. So now I'm going to go try break it. All right. Choke is off. <laughs>
pure insanity. <laughs> pure insanity. This I like. <laughs> when I welded these up, I didn't take a whole lot of care welding them because we were kind of rushed. But it actually didn't break at the weld, it broke the pipe. So, I thought it would last longer than that, but we're going to have to put, it's those kind of mid-range RPM vibrations that it just, when we were testing in the garage, you can see it, it's, it's shaking it to death. Alright folks, we have been hard at work building some supports. Came up with this idea last night basically trying to dampen out some of the vibrations of the engine so we built a support for the top of it and hopefully that will stop the engine from rocking a bit and mean that we have to have a little less support on the exhaust or hopefully it'll mute out some of the vibrations we've also welded this back together welded down around the header there where it broke and came up with this idea for a midpoint brace on the pipe. Say, yeah, if we have time, it'd probably be worth our time to you do another put one. Put something the there at the front of that. Uh, Josh built another one. Joel built that. No, Josh did that. I mean, Joel I did the welding. welding Joel. But, it, <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, the pipes are on there, very secure. We're gonna fire it up again and see how much it doesn't move around, because obviously. It's not going to rattle and move around like it did before because we did such a great job. camera and film a clip of the X2 beside the mini jet boat on the trailer because it really gives you an idea of how tiny that thing is. That's an X2. What's going on over here? Oh! Ow. Oh! This is cool. <laughs> I believe you've been introduced to your doom. <laughs> This is the machine that's finally going to take out my X2. Oh yeah. I heard it has a pretty pretty potent engine in there. Pretty potent engine? Yeah. Pretty lethal pump. Ooh. Those are big words. We'll see you out on the water, big guy.
definitely rich down low. Would like to look at the plugs. I feel like it could be rich down low and lean up high. All right. Good things are gonna happen. I got a good little feeling about this. It's uh, not quite terrifying, but it's uh, it's really close. <laughs> it's pretty weird to watch from land because with the waves out there right now, you see how much air I was getting. That literally most of what I was doing there was about a little over half throttle. That wasn't even full. The full beam. Yeah, I think it needs it might need to be richened up on top a little bit. Ooh, but, uh, yeah, we can do that. I think I was right about the adjustment because it's. I, can you tell how hard it's going? Oh my goodness. It's so loud. We got to take it out. Yeah, we should probably head over to the track or just. <laughs> it works good. It's so much fun. So much fun. That pipe's holding in there. Hose clamps are still tight. Sweet.
screwdriver or? Well, <laughs> it's definitely a little bit weird. Yeah. The reason why I asked about the screwdriver kind of sounds like they're a, a little bit lean. the choke there and I'm pretty sure it is it's going lean but I don't think it's just carburation it might be it might be a small air leak or reeds or a seal or I'll do one or two just not not super hot laps but just keeping her in the sweet spot yeah see if I can diagnose and run it <laughs> so the, the pipes are actually seem to be holding up fairly so far, well. So far, so good. I would not touch them if I were you. I oh, highly, no. highly recommend not touching the pipes right now. I would like to right warm now. up my hands a little bit. Ah. I'm gonna do one kind of playful lap now. That was kind of like a, a serious quote unquote lap. hot lap. Yeah, but you but, can't do the trap. You can't yeah. Do this thing is a blast. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cameras are good. much fun so crazy <laughs> uh oh uh oh <laughs> all right i'll follow you back i guess actually i'd say come over here and i'll be my, my first ride on your x2 okay <laughs> Uh, I want to 
capture my first impression of it. <laughs> that was sick! <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I think he likes it. <laughs> I'm going to take a few minutes to talk to you guys about the most crazy, exciting, intimidating watercraft in the whole Jet Ski Brothers fleet. Uh, Got to bring the camera over to the right spot, though. This isn't, uh, this is not a good spot. Let's see. This is, this is, yeah, this is better. This is better. All right, now that we have the shot set up, I can tell you guys that this is the most intimidating, crazy, fun, exhilarating, a whole bunch of other words like those. This ski is incredible. And I have to say that after riding this just for a few minutes, it was very clear that it is worth a huge amount of effort to get this thing running really well. It is going to be an absolute killer. It is an absolute killer, but it can only do killing for about five minutes in a row. <laughs> so it gets a little winded and then needs a break and uh, have some work done to it. I'm sure that Josh will be doing some refinement on this and it's going to be even more amazing than it is now. Uh, the sound this thing makes, the way it feels, the way it handles, the way you're able to both rail corners and flick it through corners and it doesn't even seem to make sense how good it works. Vin Vin described it perfectly by saying that it's basically like driving a go-kart on the water and I have to agree that is an excellent uh, description of the way this thing works. But this thing could possibly be running around 180 horsepower right now with that 1200R in there and triple pipes and uh, the potential that this thing has yeah it's it's kind of almost scary even to think about so hopefully we get to see a whole lot more of this from the jet ski brothers i'm excited to see it myself and when i come back in the future i'm excited to try it again <laughs>